As climbing reopens in the Red River Gorge, it's important we work together to keep each other safe and access to crags open. There have been a lot of questions from the community about how to climb responsibly. So we've put together some simple but important guidelines. Remember, these are in place not just for your own health, but for everyone else too. That includes your climbing partner, the people you meet at the crag, and the people who live here like me and my family. First of all, follow all Kentucky State guidelines, including wearing masks in public, especially when visiting businesses. If you feel sick with flu-like symptoms, please just stay home. When making plans to go climbing, plan on making day trips until campgrounds have reopened. Ideally, your climbing partner will be your spouse or roommate. But if climbing with friends, consider limiting your group size. The fewer people you climb with, the less of a chance there is to spread germs. Plan to pack and use all your own gear. Ropes, draws, cams, etc. Bring a mask along with you and some sanitizer or alcohol wipes. Avoid popular crags for a while. We all love places like Chocolate Factory and Drive By, but there are literally thousands of climbs across the gorge, so have a backup plan for your first choice is busy or go try someplace new. Stay six feet away from others at all times and wear a mask if coming close to people at the Blay area or on a trail. Before you climb, sanitize your hands like it's part of your safety check and then do it again when you're back on the ground. Wear gloves while belaying. Use a brush to clean holds rather than blowing on them. This summer the gorge is going to be overwhelmed with tourists, hikers, and climbers, so be extra careful. The search and rescue teams are going to be spread very thin. Lastly, just be respectful of fellow climbers if they ask you to do something. If someone asks for space at a belay spot, take a step back. If you're asked to put on a mask in close quarters, do it. We're all in this as one community, so remember to be patient and work together. We must all do our part to protect our public health and prevent the spread of COVID-19. For more information, check out any of these websites.